Susan Blackwell, and today I'm side by side one of my favorite Broadway non -oms. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look, everybody, it's Cheyenne Jackson. Hi. Good morning, Cheyenne. Good morning. Tell the people where we are. We are at the Hotel Carlisle. And tell the people what we're doing. What? We're trying to wake you up. What? Morning. Seriously. You got actually, in real late last night from Los Angeles. Yes, I got in very late and uh, I haven't even seen this room in the daytime. It's very pretty. This is it. I feel like Elaine Stretch because I'm in the corner. We're wearing fluffy robes. Mm -hmm. Do you think that we could um, order up some room hotel service? porn? I was going to say <laughs> porn. But you said room service. Can we order room service? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Can I help you? Hi, good morning. I'd like to order breakfast, please. Certainly. What you would like to have? I would like to have the brioche French toast. Certainly. And uh, the golden buttermilk pancakes. Tell me again what you're doing here at the Carlisle. I'm doing a, a one-man show called uh, Eyes Wide Open. Eyes Wide Open. Although mine are not wide open right now. Um, and it is... Uh, mm. You open on what date? January the what? 13th. Yeah, January 13th. And you run through January the what? 24th. At the Carlisle At here in New York City. Cafe Carlisle. What kind of songs are you singing? Uh, this is fresh stuff, right? This is fresh stuff. Yeah, it kind of runs the gamut. Uh, this last two, like two and a half years has been pretty crazy yeah. and great. Um, but, you know, I crazy. got... Grazy. Grazy. I, uh, yeah, I moved... Across the country. Moved to Los Angeles. Uh huh. I uh, I got remarried. I got sober. Oh my God! I know all of those things. Is this concert sort of like fresh songs and stories from a fresh perspective? Shine Jackson with his Ooh. eyes wide open. That's good. I'm just stretching myself. I'm I'm playing the piano and singing for the first time. I've never done that in public. Really? Yeah. Does any of that make you want to shit yourself? Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, are you singing my favorite song that you sing? Oh. Feeling Good? No. Oh, no! Because that's to be new. This show's all new. All new, that you say? All nude. Oh. All new. Do, like, just a tiny, we'll just cut to the motherfucking chase. I've got your nose. You can have it back. But this is Susan's Fantasy Jukebox. And then, until you sing me a song, you're not getting it back. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Uh -huh. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's my hand on the junk. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> it's a new dawn, it's a new day. Have you picked it really high key? You picked it. It's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good oh my god <laughs> so you were on 30 rock yeah um just tell me was that just one of the most memorable or batshit crazy experiences you had working on that 30 rock was just what you'd imagine it to be it seems terrifying it, it, it 30 rock is so is a show that you had to you have to be on your shit. And my very first day on uh, 30 Rock, it was the scene where I had to meet everybody in the cast. And I'm literally meeting Tracy and, and Jane and all those people. I had to go and I had to hit this mark. Um, you know, on you know, television, obviously you have to hit marks. You have to, without looking. I thought I did really well and I, and I, I liked my read. I liked the intent I had with the scene. And then I, I went and I thought I hit my mark and I was a little bit off. And I was uh, blocking Alec Baldwin. And he just put his big, meaty hand on my arm and said, you're in my light, and moved me over. And then he gave me a, a smile. I knew he wasn't like upset, but I moved. And then you went and changed your diaper. What? Oh. Room service. Room service. Shall we? Do, 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 do. <gasps> wow, that looks really good. This is what rich people smell in the morning. Oh, God. Yes, it is. It's fantastic. You've been doing so much. Like, you've been touring and mm -hmm. concerting and... I've traveled everywhere. You've been to all the places uh -huh. and sang all the songs? Mm -hmm. um, did Has anything awesome or awful or crazy or embarrassing happened to you? This was in um, Long Island, and I came out on stage, and I was feeling good. I was feeling sexy, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, here we go. Here we go, sang my song, and I was like, yeah, I was feeling really warm and juicy, and I, I felt like I looked You're like, good. That's the night. Totally. And um, then I start my second song, and I hear some lady go, pull out your jacket. 
I was like, what? what? And I looked at Ben, and she's like, pull out your jacket. And I look in the back. My jacket, I had, in the last minute, I had, like, tucked my jacket deep into my pants like a eight-year-old boy. <laughs> and it was so, it was like my gorgeous jacket was just tucked in sideways and just, like, yeah, all kinds. And then I looked at my music director like, why didn't you tell me? He's like, I was trying to. Oh, you know what I wanted to ask you about? Yeah. Uh, I loved you in Behind the Candelabra. Mm. I loved you in that movie. Thanks. I was like, just more of you just, just eating. Just bitch face. Just eating with a bitch face. Yeah. More of that. That movie was so fun. I got on set and that, Liberace's house was actually Zsa Zsa Gabor's house. But the whole house, they, it looked so much like Liberace's house anyway. All they had to do was like add piano keys in the pool and then a couple of like naked boy tchotchkes. And it was done. And I got there and uh, Michael Douglas was in full caftan and, you know, I call this palatial kitsch. And he had his full voice and it was, I was like, wow, he's, he's in it to win it. That is awesome. Yeah, it was great. Please tell me they let you keep your costumes from that. Oh. I got to keep one ring. Ring. A run ring. What about that big sparkling tuxedo? Those things were. Oh my gosh! It's so everything was so custom. Where does, so, I know who else is going to be able to pull that off? I don't know. Besides you, six I don't foot, know. almost four, Cheyenne I Jackson. I know, but it was, it was, yeah, it was great, great fun. And oh, if we can get it, can we just roll, just clip? <laughs> That's the bitch face I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, you have a lot of singers in your family. Uh -huh. You come from a long lineage well, of singers. I mean, yeah, like, your aunt's a singer. My mom and my sister are singing. What was that time that they were they were singing? They were working with mics, right? Yeah, my mom was doing. Uh, they were doing a trio at their church, and they were singing. It was an Easter special, and they were singing a song called "Roll Away the Stone." There's no one here. It's a great song. Yeah, it's a good ditty. And uh, they had uh, they had all gotten lavalier mics, much like these. And uh, I went to church. My I saw see my mom do it, and they all come out, and they were holding them like this. I thought, what, what's happening? And my mom's like, roll away the stone. There's no one here. Roll away the stone. Jesus is risen. Do you have your cell phone handy? Yes. And it's time to play a round of cell phone roulette. This is how you do it. You open up the camera oh, roll. Okay. You take a spin through the roll. Like, oh. Just like, like spin it like. Um, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then shit. wherever my finger lands, that's the picture that we show to the camera. Okay? Okay. You ready? Do you have pixels? How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Ready to be pixelated? How do you feel about this? I mean, fine, I think. Oh, what? Okay, so what are we looking at here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that is, uh, yeah, that's me uh, with a tutu on my head because, you know, that's what you do sometimes when you're 13. We, it was a family reunion and uh, uh, we were doing Mr. Th my, my sister and her and our first cousin, was they were doing Mr. Sandman. And uh, I was Mr. Sandman. And so he, what? He has a, Mr. Sandman. And I went, yes. And I had Bring a me a dream. Boom, Did boom, you? Boom, boom, yeah. <laughs> you know the Sandman was gay. Weird. I, I, you know. It's time for celebrity prank phone calls to celebrities. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to call one of your celebrity friends from your cell phone or mine and just prank them. Okay. So who do you want to call? All right, let's call Nathan Lane. And what are we going to say? Um, it's gonna be penis cream. His penis cream is ready. Okay. Okay. What kind of a voice should I use? Oh, uh, Mr. Lane. Uh, it, yeah. Do it as Alec Baldwin. <laughs> celebrity on celebrity prank calls to celebrities. Here we go. I please leave a message. Hi, Nathan. Uh, this is Alec Baldwin, and uh, I have that uh, penis cream that we talked about the other day. Um, yeah, it, it's available for you to pick up. Uh, we can just you can pick it up at the usual place. So. Uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave it with my doorman. Okay, bye-bye. I'm at the Carlisle. I'm at the Carlisle. Now he's gonna know it was you, ha! Ah! No, you won't. You're brave. Our time together is almost done. I feel like we've woken you up. Have we woken you up? You have, but now I can face the day. You ready to face it? Yeah. Good. Just yeah. as a super bonus for me, because yeah. this is my show and I get to do whatever I want, I just want one more <laughs> super bonus. Susan's Fantasy Jukebox. Once again, I have your nose, and once again, you can have it back. But first, you have to sing me a song from your new concert, Eyes Wide Open, at the Carlisle. All right. There ain't a reason you and me should be alone tonight, yeah, baby. I got a reason that you should take me home tonight. Gaga. Gaga. Y'all. 
Go see Little Cheyenne at the Carlisle. Shit's mm. gonna be tight and tight. Mm. Mm. Bye. Bye.